Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here. Welcome back to the channel today. I'm going to talk to you guys about the challenge USB drive from NomCon CTF 2022. There you go, that's kind of hard to say. Uh, but yeah, so basically we start off with the challenge. We have this like adata.lnk file. Uh, basically it was a link file. A link file basically just links to some sort of executable, right? You'll see them all the time on your desktop. Um, basically they work as shortcuts, right? Um, so it was basically a shortcut that led to a cmd.exe. So it just opens the administrative command line. So it just opens cmd.exe. Um, I was confused at first. I was like, um, okay, if it's just leading to a cmd.exe, it's not doing anything but leading to the executable. So I had to do some research and I was able to determine that, hey, um, you can actually have white space characters in that LNK file because it only shows the first 256 characters, I believe. Um, and then after the um, area of white spaces, you can actually put executable code for the CMD, right? So you can do CMD slash C and then the executable code. Um, so that took me to figure out to find, so I was able to eventually discover it. The path URL looks harmless out of the stream of white space after the command prompt. Ain't no way. Is that an actual thing? Oh. Like that space. Is that, is it, what? Looks like I the screen white space after the command prompt. Because the target field has a character limit to 160. You can only see the full command link analysis. Oh, huh. Hold up, let me see this. So once I discovered that, um, I was able to actually find this link. It was called, it was a tiny URL link, um, but the T was missing. So it took me a second to find uh, the tiny URL link. So the white spaces. Okay, so. Oh. Ain't no way. Yeah, but you don't okay. Think that, that's not, that couldn't be part of it before you, before you begin. That couldn't be part of it. No. Nah. Right, so, oh, menu. 10 URL or, t oh, tiny URL. Yeah. So, oh, am I missing the T, tiny URL? Ah, uh, shit. There you go. I was missing the T, apparently. Was the T in here? No. I must have missed that T. No, I wasn't there. Huh. Well, we figured it out. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, we, we got it. It's, it's uh, on Base64. Yeah, it probably is Base64. Let me download this. Once we found the link, uh, we were able to determine, hey, it's uh, it was basically some USB.txt file. Um, looked kind of like Base64, so we downloaded it and threw it into uh, CyberChef. Once we were able to throw in CyberChef, we got uh, some executable code or a port PE code portable executable codes for Windows uh, but I made one one m major mistake Download this. Uh, 
dog. I think I got it. Oh shit. Download that exe. Um, yeah, I basically assumed immediately that it was a .exe file and didn't even consider, fathom, the possibility that could also be a DLL. I did not run a file command on it. I just immediately assumed it was a .exe and I kind of threw myself into this rabbit hole that lasted like an hour and a half, maybe. Actually, I think I spent pretty much the rest of the night doing it. Um, yeah, dumb, dumb mistake. Um, so because of that, it wouldn't execute because it wasn't an .exe, it was a DLL. Yes, sir. Hold up. So it was a yes. No, it was. Uh, I just kind of threw a magic on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With all basic, right. With this base sixty four. Uh, share, download that exe, and then let's go to refresh. Download that exe. So. Why can't it run? Check with the software publisher. All right, let me close uh, Windows 10. My my EXC won't execute for whatever reason. I've been doing addition and subtraction for the past out like. So the next day, I woke up, fresh eyes, kind of hit the challenge again, and I saw uh, when I ran a file command. It wasn't an exe, it was a dll. File download that exe. It's a PE32 executable. dll. Is that the problem? Uh, and as soon as that happened, we kind of just went straight to it, dumped the exports, executed the main export, and solved the challenge. Dump bin slash exports, uh, download the DLL. DLL main and message box thread. All right, let's see if I remember how to do this right. Um, Something like this. I don't, I don't remember. I'm just keep trying this stuff until something works. Oh, oh there you go. Oh my god. Fuck. Why can't I copy it? That's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, that's so high. Good for you. Oh, there you go. It's a DLL. I totally looked over that last night. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, you were up late. Yes, dog. Fresh, all right. fresh eyes. Fresh eyes. Good that's shit. all you need sometimes. It's fresh eyes. All right, let me copy this into here. F L A G. Curly brace zero A F. Twenty eight. Can you read it for me if you can read it? Yeah, I got you. Twenty eight. Yes, sir. Oh, I totally looked over the DLL shit. I was like, I saw the PE <laughs> and I just immediately assumed it was executable. I even considered the fucking DLL. Oh my lord. All right. Woo. <laughs> Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here, and I wanted to introduce you guys to the Happy Hacker Site Plan. The Happy Hacker Site Plan is a plan where you guys can support us for only $1 a month. That's right, $1. With this comes exclusive benefits like courses, articles, videos, and access to our entire cybersecurity knowledge base. Um, if this interests you and you guys want to um, get access to all this, check out the link in the description. It's only $1, so we definitely appreciate your guys' support. Um, anyway, enjoy the video and uh, happy hacking.